Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Yolanda T and thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy to be filming a skincare routine. My skin has been doing pretty well, I won't lie. I'm wearing this robe, I just had to make it a little satin, satin you know, give us the vibe. But I just woke up, um, this is my skin in the morning, this is there's nothing new that I put on my skin, just woke up, took a shower. Um, this video is going to be a voiceover because I am equipping in this bathroom and I want the best audio and everything best for you guys. So let's get straight into it. I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, let's go. So first, I'm going to go in and put some water on my face just to make sure that there's a little bit of moisture so my face isn't so dry when I start applying product. Um, I just like to do this as an extra step. And then I go in with the Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. I really like this because it's not harsh. It's super gentle on my skin. And also because it's the morning, I don't want to be putting like such harsh products just to take away and strip off my skin of its natural moisture. So I just put that onto my skin, rub it around and get a good little clean cleanse to start off my day. Once I'm done, I just rinse my face off with some warm water and then I take my designated face cloth and I just dab it on my face to take off the extra water that's on my left of my face after I rinse. Guys, I want to stress the importance of having a microfiber cloth that you can get from anywhere. This I probably got from Walmart, um, but have one that's specifically for your face. So this I only use for my face. I don't use it for anything else in my body. Um, just to make sure that nothing is like transferring from my body onto my face because that is very delicate skin. You want to make sure that you have one that's specifically for your face. Dab it on very gently and then we're going to move on to the next step. So next I go in with the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum and guys. I am obsessed with everything Good Molecules. I absolutely love this brand. So for hyaluronic acid, it actually really helps your skin absorb the moisture of all the product that you're going to be putting on on top of it even better. So your sunscreens, your the next, the upcoming steps in the video. Um, yeah, there I go, spilling some in my eyes. This has happened more times than you guys would actually expect, but we move because the dropper is actually not supposed to touch you, your actual skin because it transfers bacteria back into the product. It's a whole thing, but just try your best to not make the top of touch your skin, guys. I'm still learning, as you can see. But hyaluronic acid, it helps your skin absorb all the, the moisture um, that you're gonna be putting on top of it with the other products. So I've definitely seen the difference in my skin since I started using it. I started using Good Molecules, uh, maybe like two, three months ago, and I love how it makes my skin feel. I definitely take my time when I'm putting this and rubbing this into my face. I'm very gentle with all my movements. I don't want to, you know, do anything very harsh. So I drag it across my neck. Super gentle. It's, it leaves your skin feeling really good, really moisturized. I just love how my skin feels after I put on this serum from Good Molecules. Definitely, guys, try it out. So next, I go in with my Good Molecules once again, Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. And first step that I do is I just want to dry my face a little bit to just make sure that it's a nice application for the moisturizer. And this is how the bottle looks. This moisturizer is formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and a plant-derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish the skin. And I know it says priming um, moisturizer, so it's really great for like the morning routine and you know your makeup application. It does doesn't leave your skin feeling with you know that silky feeling that uh, primers often give you not at all this is so smooth it seeps right into your skin I love the feeling that it has especially on top of the uh, the hyaluronic acid I actually, actually love this combination it's not a silky thick moisturizer it's very lightweight seeps right in such a nice feeling you just you don't want to end uh rubbing your face you just want to keep on you, you guys can see you just want to keep on going and going and going but i really like it so very nice definitely a must have 
Next, I go in with one of my favorites. It's Black Girl Sunscreen. So this is infused with jojoba and avocado. It is SPF 30. I mean, I think I would like it to be SPF 50. But for me, this product works so well. You have to put on a lot. If you guys follow Makeup Woman of Color on Twitter, she always says you need to put on the two finger rule. So I know it look kind of crazy right now. But trust me, I just... I enjoy the process of watching sunscreen like disappear on my skin so this is actually one of my favorite steps in my skincare routine. The one thing that I will say is that it does not leave a white cast, it leaves your skin so glowy, so beautiful. I always have the best glow after I put on my sunscreen. So the trick that I learned on TikTok of how to get your sunscreen to really go into your face is don't rub in circles, swipe on your face. So you'll see like all of my movements is like a swipe see like that i just kind of like take it from one from the inner corner and then i kind of take it up i swipe it and that's how you see that it starts to disappear because if you go in circles that sunscreen is going nowhere so you guys can see how it's basically gone all into my skin it's just disappeared such a nice glow guys don't forget your neck you have to sun put sunscreen like anything on your neck because it's just as important as the skin on your face super important that you guys don't forget it but that's really my morning routine um i don't put a lot of stuff i keep it super simple super affordable as well everything will be linked down below so you guys can see any other products i used but that's really my morning routine that's it <laughs> The absolute last step in my morning routine is that I just take some Vaseline and I put that on my lips just to make sure that they're not dry. This is old school. This is like back home. You know, this is what I used to do since I was a kid. So I'm super used to this step. It's always worked. I take whatever leftover uh, products I have in my hands, put that on my neck, on my shoulders, just make sure that I can get as much moisture in uh, as I can. And I move on with my day. I start with applying makeup. Skin is nice and primed, good looking good, feeling good. So let's go. So this is me at the end of the very same day. Um, it was quite a long day. So you can see by the oil on my face, I was outside. <laughs> so I go in with the same Aveeno brightening scrub and I actually really like using the scrub also at night because it helps to break down the makeup because it is a scrub and it has those little particles that will help like, you know, get everything off. I have sensitive skin, so I can't be using very strong, harsh products on my face. It doesn't get everything off, but it gets, it gets the job done. Uh, you do need to go in with another product afterwards to get everything off. And I do like using those products, so I can use it morning and night. And I love a product that's very versatile. So after that, I just wash my face again with warm water and I use my face cloth. Uh, don't forget guys after you use your face cloth that you have to actually wash it like that's what I do I wash my face cloth every single night after I use it like specifically wash it to ensure that it's clean for the next time that I'm gonna use it so next I go in with my Pond's cold creamer and this is basically like a makeup remover that I put on and I'm just putting some dabs of water. I know I just dried my face, but I just like to put some a few dabs of water before I put this on. I just, I don't know, I feel like it helps. You guys can see that bottle is empty. This is literally like my last scoop. I said I'm making this video one way or another with this, with this bottle on this day. So this just goes in after your cleanser and it gets everything off and i really like doing this especially around my eyes because that's where i struggle to get a lot of the makeup off so this is where i really go in and like rub as much it's super super soft i love the way that it feels it's just it doesn't it feels like a cream but at the same time like it's gonna come off you're gonna be good and here yeah, i've just rinsed it and it's taken off basically the remaining pieces of makeup that stayed on my face and you can see now my eyes i'm just holding my nose ring but my eyes are now clean my face now has no more makeup so you can see like like what a toner does but it's not a toner it's just Pond's cold cream so we love that we love how that feels don't forget wash your cloth next i go in with the good molecule my simonite serum now this i use at night time you can use it in the morning and night but i just choose to use it at night and what this does is that it refines your skin texture and minimizes your pores so it's another dropper as a serum and i feel like this has made such a difference in my skin because i used to have 
such large pores and i know some people will say pores exist pores don't exist pores close pores open whatever it is i see the difference good molecules and it's so affordable i think this product is like six or like no more than eight dollars i remember works i may have put in a bit much here i will be honest that was a lot but i don't know i just love how this product feels i love what it does it has definitely restored um, my skin's texture my skin feels smooth than ever I, I, I can feel when i'm putting on products uh my pores definitely my problem area is around my nose for my pores and i see the difference i definitely see the difference so i love good molecules they're such a good brand guys definitely try them out affordable good results love it I go in with the Good Molecules Priming Moisturizer and I know that it's at night time but I still use this as my nighttime moisturizer. I told y'all I keep a very simple skincare routine. I think as you know I, time keeps going I will start using more products but for now this works for me. This works perfectly. I love using this product so I can use it morning and night with no issues. It doesn't leave my face feeling funny because it's a priming moisturizer everything still works just fine so I'm still very happy with it my skin feels moisturized I'm happy so the last step that I have in my nighttime routine is just to put some Vaseline on my lips making sure that they're not dry you guys know we did this in the morning too but that's literally my whole skincare routine I don't do a lot I keep it as simple as possible because I just want whatever I use to work and that's really all that I do. That is my skincare routine done and dusted. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. It was a very different experience for me. And I hope to make another one for you very soon. Don't forget to like, comment your favorite part of the video, share it, and most importantly, subscribe, guys. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll definitely see you guys in my next one. So that's really it for me. Healing the tea. Peace and love. Bye, y'all.